Well, hey guys, how's it going? So, it's Eric. I'm sure some of you may remember me, but um, I was formerly one of the house managers um, at Haven House St. Louis, and I'm now coming to you from Cincinnati. Uh, I transitioned to Cincinnati um, a couple years ago from St. Louis. I'm now working in the cancer and blood diseases unit inpatient here at Cincinnati Children's Hospital where I am now a registered nurse after graduating nursing school in St. Louis. Um, but I just wanted to hop on really quick and say that I hope all of you are doing well and trying to maintain an optimistic state of mind amidst the unknown. I know this has been a challenge for all of us. And so we will overcome, we will get through this. Um, but I spent a little over, let's see, I think it was five years that I was um, working as a house manager at, at Haven House St. Louis. Um, and I was amidst a pretty incredible atmosphere when I was there, um, providing the comfort of home and the community of support for those that were, came to St. Louis um, for medical care. Um, but I knew pretty quickly after working there for even like a year or two that I wanted to embark on a journey to permanently serve humanity. So I decided to um, apply to nursing school. Um, this is a quote of a multi-talented Maya Angelou once said, um, people may not remember your name or the things that you did necessarily, but they'll always remember you how you made them feel. And I think this is a great philosophy that um, embodies Haven House, but also um, that's my philo personal philosophy um, as I continue to work pretty long 12 hour shifts. So we're doing, we're doing okay, but it's now midnight here. And so I'm surprised I even had a break tonight, but um, moving on. But um, I would just say, hands down, Haven House is, you're hearing this word essential. Um, and I would say essential, Haven House is definitely an essential part of society. And I'm witnessing this firsthand as people that are hospitalized at the bedside who are traveling from faraway places and are in need of hospitable services. I like lodging, meals, transportation, alongside a tender-hearted, hardworking group of volunteers and staff members. And Haven House is all encompassing in that way. Um, we, and they cannot function without tender hearted, tender hearted, I can't speak right now, a little tired, uh, tender hearted individuals like yourselves. Um, I know this is a difficult time economically and also emotionally, but if you're able to give today, even in the slightest amount, that would be incredibly meaningful to me and to, to the comp compassionate um, staff and volunteers at Haven House, and most importantly, the patients and families that Haven House serves. Um, I want to just wish everyone well, stay safe, and stay essential, Haven House.